everyone, and welcome to the best of Series 7 of Sport Fishing on the Fly. Well, today we're inside because we can't be out on our home waters of the Columbia River because it's pouring rain. Oh, out, but terrible weather out there. We, the only time we ever get a chance to tie flies is when we're at trade shows. And finally, we're finished the trade shows. We finally get a chance to come back here, and now we're going to tie some flies here. Yeah, so. we, we get a chance to tie today because yeah. we can't fish because of the weather. rain. We were at a trade show in Vernon, and you were tying a fly, a little caddis. Yeah, a little orange CDC cast. It had some peacock curl for the yeah. body and stuff. You should tie that on the bench later. Yeah, sure. That was one of our favorites around here. That would be good. Sure. This whole show today, we're going to look back at some of the footage, and we had some neat stuff this year. We did. We went and got some really good scenery around. We got some really nice footage of some fish taking, the jumps, and everything else. So we want to show everybody that. We've got some good outtakes. But you know, the one thing that people tell us they like the most about this series is the underwater footage. And we yeah. got some great underwater footage. Yeah. So why don't we go there and uh, show everybody? You bet. Welcome back to the best of Series 7 of Sport Fishing on the Fly. And you know, we've just been talking off camera here about what it means to us to fly fish. And for us, for fly fishing, it's just the whole experience of just doing it. Well, just getting out. You know, we last year, we caught a ton of big fish. Oh, yeah. We had a bunch of big fish. But this year, we tried to focus on going to the streams, getting some smaller fish, and having some fun. It's not always about catching the biggest fish or the most fish getting out and just having fun. Enjoying your day of fishing. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at some of the footage because we did catch some very good fish. Sure.
Well, I hope you're enjoying all the footage we're showing you today on the show. And I just thought on the bench today I'd tie something that I use around my home waters all the time and it's called the Orange CDC Caddis. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we're going to use a TMC 100 size 12. We'll use some 6 aught orange thread to tie with, some orange thread to build up the body, some peacock curl for the rib, for the wing we'll use some CDC, and for the hackle we'll use a brown hackle. First step is I'm going to tie my thread onto the hook, which I've already done, and I'm going to take one peacock curl, just one, and that's going to be our ribbing, and we'll just tie it in and tie our thread back to the bend of the hook. I have my peacock curl tied in, and all I'm going to do now is just wrap my orange thread forward and back, and I'm going to build up a slightly tapered body. We want this body to be a, a nice orange color. So we'll just keep the wrapping that thread back and forth and build up a body. I now have my orange body built up on the hook. I'm going to take that peacock curl and slowly rip it forward and form about four to five ribs. I've now taken two CDC fibers and fairly long ones and what I've done is actually wrap them on my CDC tool and that forms a real nice little wing. We're going to put this wing on the hook, snip off our excess, and then make the size of the wing we like to create. So I'm going to pull this wing back to the end of the hook shank and just snip it there. To finish the fly off, I'm going to wrap in my brown hackle and again wrap it forward, make sure it's nice and attached on there. And now I'm going to take my hackle pliers and hook it onto the hackle and slowly wrap the hackle forward to build up some nice legs on the fly. Well, there it is, the finished orange CDC caddis. It's a real good pattern in the Columbia River around my area and we've used it as it gets a little later on at night in different rivers and it seems to work really well. Why don't we head back to the show and check out some more of that great footage. Putting segments like that together, and the bench segments, and a lot of the fishing segments, there's lots of stuff that doesn't make it to broadcast <laughs> television. A lot of outtakes, and as always, we're always blurbling up and making mistakes, so that's we get a lot of outtakes. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's go take a look at some of the outtakes. Yeah, so enjoy. Man. Now the oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, all right. I'm gonna start at this. Okay. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> we're running. Well, today on the bench we have a real nice pattern, and uh, you're saying it's called an alvin. That's right, it's called the Jennings Ultimate Eilvin, and it's fished uh, in the same pattern as, uh, same manner as uh, the egg pattern. <laughs> oh, come on. Tabata, Popoy Tabata. Lake or any other lake, make sure you take care, conserve the waters. You get the great fishery here, and it shows. And uh, also, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was going right to the thing. I was going, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. See you next time. I was going right to there, and I did that. There you go, there you go. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> well, now the weather's looking better. I think we'll stay. <laughs> All right. Okay, Don, we're going to start oh, off this flight. Hold it, hold it. <laughs> okay, ready? Just a sec. <laughs> okay. okay. Wait for the cue. <laughs> time techniques, uh, different video prab. Blah, blah. Don't like that. Here, so it's nice and close, and you got up to was there ten dubbings you can put on. You can put on twelve boggin boggins. You can put on twelve bob bobbins, bodkins, and bob. Bobbins. Pull the eyeballs open. <laughs> to the old man. There's something else I would have loved to have along as our regular, <laughs> as our regular camera, our usual camera, is our cameraman, is our cameraman. You could tell by the footage today on the old man that it was pretty tough to catch the fish, and I'm not sure if I had some of these patterns along with me, I would have been able to feel. <laughs> Green drakes have nice long mayfly tail, and the flaps have a real, really, sh a really, really, really short tail. Oh, there it is, the finished flab mayfly. Gotta remember if you ever outfitted. <laughs> Welcome to the bench. Well, today I'm gonna tie up, tie up the fish. This pattern works great for us, and I know it's uh, for me, you know, it's a killer pattern. Give it a try. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the bench. Well, today I'm gonna tie you up a sculpin pattern. That's fish. That's fish. <laughs> okay. Come to the bench. You know, the real nice thing about good patterns is they can always be modified to make a it can always be modified to be a little bit better. Okay, you ready? And there it is, the finished cutthroat candy. Now the name says it all. If you're ever fishing rivers or lakes, wherever cutthroat or fishing, wherever fish are. <laughs> How to fish the river in October. No. We were just out to have some fun because we had all the guys with us. We had the guests. We had Matt Rolick. Matt Rolick? <laughs> you better go and get some dry clothes on. Well, welcome back. And what does blurbling mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those outtakes, isn't it? It goes with the outtakes, blurbling. <laughs> well, yeah, that's part of fly fishing for yeah. us is inventing <laughs> words, I guess. But a part of it too is the scenery. And we always enjoy wherever we go because we get to go to a lot of neat places. We don't get to fish our home water in the Columbia as much as we'd like to. We'd like to have been there today, yeah. but we get to sit here and tie flies. Well, we're very fortunate. Everywhere we go is, is a beautiful spot. I mean, there's no bad place to fly fish. No, that's right. It's just a part of the job that's real tough to take sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go take a look at some of the great places we've been this last year.
all some awesome places that we've been to. And you know, the best part is we get a chance to, to continually do that, go yeah. to new places all the time. Tough job. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the next series, we've pretty well got all the, the shows done for the next yeah. series, and we're working on the couple of series that go on beyond that. You know, what we're looking at is doing some different species as well, like sticking mainly with rainbows because that's yeah. what we enjoy, but we're looking at some other species. Well, we're going to try. We're actually going to go after some carp. We're going to try yeah. to get carp on the fly. We've actually caught kokanee on the fly. Right. And we're going to have some really interesting stuff. Yeah, going you know, on. some walleye and some bass yeah. and all that kind of it's stuff. It's going to be kind of different. Yeah. <laughs> We'd like to thank everybody who works behind the scenes to make sport fishing on the fly happen. And when you get a chance to get out in the wild, yeah. make sure you take care. And conserve our waters. Get great fishing like we've had all over the world. It's fantastic. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. See you next time. Where we take you sport fishing on the fly. <laughs>